Welcoming a new litter of puppies into the world is very rewarding, but dog pregnancies can be both confusing and stressful, as well as time consuming and costly. And if you've never been through the whole process before, you might be wondering if your dog was mated, how to tell if your dog is actually pregnant, what will happen to your dog's body during pregnancy, what to expect when she gives birth, how involved should you be and when you should actually worry and take your dog to the vet. So in this video, I will cover all of these questions in depth and tell you exactly what you need to know in order to ensure that your doggo is best prepared for this exciting phase in her life. Hey guys, Dr. Peter. I'm a veterinarian from South Africa. Now, first, let's start at the beginning. Bitches are usually on heat for 10 to 14 days. In the first week, they are very attractive to male dogs, but will not really allow mating and may even turn around and try to bite the male dogs that want to mate with them. You will notice a vulva will start to swell and she will start to give off a bloody discharge. Now in the second week, however, she will allow a male to mate with her and will even actively go out and seek a male to mate with. Male dogs can smell bitches in heat for up to three kilometers away and there's very little that can be done to try and stop them from going for gold. Now, it is possible for a bitch to mate several times in the second week of the heat season and it is therefore also possible for a litter of puppies to have different dads as the male dog sperm can stay active inside the female dog's genital tract for up to seven days after mating. Now, the most obvious way that you will be able to tell if your bitch has been mated is if you've actually seen her being mated to a male dog, which will eventually end up in a sort of genital lock, such as seen in this picture. Now, it does sometimes happen that we see our bitches on heat, she gets out of the yard somehow and later returns looking as normal as can be. So how do we tell if she got pregnant? Now dogs are pregnant or in a more scientific term have a gestation period of an average of 63 days but this can really range from anywhere between 56 and 72 days after mating took place. The earliest that we as vets can diagnose pregnancy in a bitch is with an abdominal ultrasound from the 25th day after breeding where the pup's heartbeats can be detected. We can also measure blood hormones such as relaxin at day 30 and progesterone from day 34 onwards and after day 50 we should be able to see the skeletal structures of the pup on an abdominal x-ray as well as be able to tell how many pups are present and whether or not they are small enough to pass through the birth canal. If your vet is very experienced, he may also be able to palpate the pups around day 28 where they will feel like little golf balls inside the dog's abdomen. This is a very delicate procedure and should only be done by someone qualified Otherwise, you might end up squashing the pups. Now, as in humans, you will start noticing changes to your bitch's body as the pregnancy progresses. After day 40, you will start to notice your pet's belly getting bigger, her breasts will become enlarged, the nipples will begin to get darker, and as her due date gets closer, you may also even see a little milky fluid trickling out of the nipples. She will gradually start eating more than usual in order to provide the necessary nutrition to a developing pups. So it is really important to make sure that she is getting the adequate nutrition that she needs. You will need to look for a well formulated diet that is high in energy, low in fiber and which contain high levels of omega-3 fatty acids. A great product for small breed dogs, for example, will be the Royal Canin Mini Starter Mother and Baby Dog Food that can be given from day 40 onwards until about two months after the puppies have been born. 
This can be fed to both the mother and her pups and can even be softened with a little bit of water to help ease the transition from milk to solid food for the pups. The bitches feed intake should increase by up to one and a half times the normal level and you should feed smaller meals more frequently rather than large meals at once as this can cause some discomfort. Some people reckon that it is necessary to give the mother supplements such as calcium or vitamin D during the later stage of pregnancy but this should really be avoided as it can actually increase the risk of complications during pregnancy. Rather, feed her a well-balanced puppy diet from a reputable brand and she should be fine. Now, a really good idea will be to take your pregnant bitch to the vet for a prenatal checkup around about day 40 of gestation so that your vet can check her health status and so that he can perform a fecal exam to check for any internal parasites. Deworming a pregnant bitch with fenbendazole at the start of the third trimester, which is usually around day 40, have been found to significantly decrease the amount of roundworms and hookworms in newborn puppies, therefore allowing them to grow and thrive to their utmost. Now, as the bitch approaches the final hours of whelping, her body temperature will start to drop. So it is also a good idea to buy a thermometer from the pharmacy around about two weeks before estimated due date and start taking her rectal temperature twice a day at the same time every day. Now the normal body temperature for a dog is around about between 37.5 and 39.5 degrees celsius and Typically, the bitch's temperature will suddenly drop by 1 to 3 degrees, run about 12 to 24 hours before she goes into labor. Now, most dogs are able to give birth naturally without any assistance or complications, but it is useful to know what to expect so that you can be prepared to intervene when necessary. So, whelping basically consists out of three stages. During stage one, her cervix will begin to dilate in order to allow the puppies to pass through the birth canal. She will start to become restless and will seem uncomfortable and you may even see her pacing up and down, shivering, panting and sometimes even whining. She will probably not really be interested in food and may even vomit. She will also display nesting behavior which means she will search for a quiet secluded spot and create a nest to whelp in. The first stage can last anything from 3 to 24 hours. Now stage 2 of labor will set in when the placental sac tears and release straw colored fluid, basically what we call her water breaks in humans. And during this time the uterine contractions will also begin. Now each puppy is enclosed in its own set of fetal membranes and will need to be delivered between 30 to 60 minutes each. The bitch may also rest between puppies for between 4 to 6 hours during which no uterine contractions will occur. Once the puppy is delivered, its mother will bite off its umbilical cord and lick it clean by breaking the amniotic sac that surrounds the pup. This might sound a bit strange, but it is important to allow her to do this as it stimulates the puppy's breathing and basically helps the mother to bond with the puppy and to start producing milk. Now, if the mother is unable or uninterested to perform these crucial steps within three minutes, then you will have to intervene and do it yourself. So, use some clean thread like dental floss that is unflavored and unwaxed and tie a knot around the umbilical cord approximately 2.5 cm away from the puppy. Be very careful not to pull on the umbilical cord as this may cause damage to the puppy's organs. Use a clean pair of scissors to cut the umbilical cord about 1 cm away from the knot towards the pitch's end. Use an antiseptic solution such as iodine or betadine to clean the puppy's abdomens after the cord is cut and dab on the end of the cut umbilical cord. Break the amniotic sac and clear the membranes and fluid away from the puppy's face, nose and mouth 
and rub its body vigorously with a soft dry towel to stimulate breathing. Check that the puppy is alive by feeling for a heartbeat by placing your index finger behind the puppy's elbow for a few moments. If it is alive, you should be able to feel a heartbeat kind of like a drum beating against your finger. Now, the puppy may have a heartbeat but will not really breathe initially. This is fairly normal as it may take up to 10 minutes to actually start breathing. If you need to help more than one puppy, then use a clean, soft, dry towel for each puppy. Newborn puppies are very slippery and using a wet towel will make it even more slippery. And the last thing that you would want is the puppy slipping out of your hands and falling on the floor. Now, the mother usually proceeds to eat the afterbirth and this type of behavior is completely normal. So do not interfere with this process or try and deter her from eating it. Now, stage three of labor start once the puppy is delivered and ends when it's greenish blackish fetal membranes are expelled. The bitch will usually alternate between stage two and stage three when there's more than one puppy. And after all the puppies are born, dry and breathing, place them alongside the mother's belly and make sure that they are nursing. It is crucial for them to get in the first milk or colostrum in order to provide the puppies with the necessary nutrients and antibodies from the mother to help build up their natural immunity to infections. Now, the most important thing to realize during the whelping process is that the bitch can interrupt the whelping process if she feels frightened, nervous or disturbed. You will therefore need to provide her with a quiet, secluded spot in which to whelp comfortably and try and keep disturbances at a minimum. It is fine to check on her every few minutes, but only disturb her when it is absolutely necessary, as described earlier. The puppies should be left with the mother at all times and should be handled as little as possible. I know, I know, newborn puppies are very cute and the temptation to cuddle with them will be very high. But it is important to understand that handling them too much will affect the bonding process with the mother quite negatively and may result in her abandoning or even worse, killing them off, which is actually more common than you might think. Another good idea is to provide her with a whelping box that offer a safe, warm and easily cleaned location to have her puppies. The box should be easy for the mother, but not for the puppies to get in and out of. This one from Amazon ticks all the boxes and is one that I will recommend and you can find the link for it down in the description. Now, as nature will sometimes have it and as not all dog breeds are designed to give birth naturally, there may be some instances where you will need to take a dog to the vet so that a professional can intervene and help along with the birthing process. If you notice any of the following, then phone your vet as soon as possible, as this may indicate an emergency. Number one, when there is 20 to 30 minutes of active uterine contractions, but no puppy is delivered. Number two, if more than four hours passed since the birth of the last puppy and you suspect or maybe know that there are more, Number three, no puppies have been delivered 24 to 36 hours after the rectal temperature has dropped. Number four, the bitch cries and licks or bites at the rear end during whelping. Number five, a puppy appears stuck in the birth canal or the mother is completely exhausted and cannot push the puppy anymore. Number six, the pregnancy progresses beyond the due date which is beyond 72 days from when she was made it. And number seven, no puppies are born two hours after the lochia or water-like discharges were first seen. Now, any of these signs may indicate that your dog may be suffering from a dystochia, which basically means that the pups are too big to be able to pass through the birth canal naturally. And 
This may very well require a C-section in order to save the pups and the mother's life. Also, the discharge from the vulva can really tell us a lot about the health status of the mother and the pups. If it is greenish with small amounts of blood, then this is what we call lochia, which is basically created when the placenta separates from the womb. And this is completely normal. If you see a watery or egg-like fluid, then this generally indicates that the bitch is starting to give birth. You may even see a waterfall balloon protruding from the vulva, which is basically the fluid surrounding the fetus during the normal development. If you see a little bit of blood during the birthing process, then this is quite normal. But if there is a lot of blood present, then this might indicate that there is something serious going wrong. The bitch will have a bloody discharge for up to six weeks after giving birth, which is still normal as it only means that the uterus is involuting, which means it is reconstructing and shrinking back to its pre-pregnancy size and state. But if you at any time see a stinky yellowish white or brown discharge, then this is serious, as it may indicate that there's an infection in either the uterus or the vagina. And this is not normal and the bitch should be taken to the vet as soon as possible to be examined. Now, pregnancy can be quite a stressful time for both dogs and owners, but it doesn't have to be. The more you know about the dog pregnancy ahead of time, the better prepared you will be to take care of your doggo and her pups. Now, I hope this video gave you a proper rundown of what to expect and if you found this video to be helpful, then please bark a like and share it with your friends. And if you are new to my channel, then welcome and consider subscribing as I'll be posting new videos on interesting pet related topics every week. And as always, have a lucky day and I'll see you in another video next week. Cheers.